Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, your lovely, lovely faces, to a brand new video here on the channel. Well, today we're going to be taking a look at an article where Helena Bonham Carter, she did an interview with the Sunday Times, and it was a good little article. Uh, sadly, though, we do are going to be seeing it from the Guardian's perspective, because obviously for the Times and the Sunday Times, you have to pay for it, and I'm not being funny, but... Again, I understand, understand subscriptions and everything else, but when it comes to news, come on. They sell enough papers and they make a fortune. Anyway, moving on to the main story of this video, we are going to be talking about Helena Bonham Carter and that she has done an interview and she has said that Johnny Depp has been completely vindicated, which is great news to see that Bonham Carter is sticking up for her friend, which is amazing to see. Especially this day and age when a lot of people, they don't really stick up for their friends anymore because, again, they they fear they're going to be cancelled. But this is what we got, excuse me. It's horrendous. Helena Bonham Carter defends J.K. Rowling and Johnny Depp. Speaking in an interview with The Times, Bonham Carter said she felt that Rowling had been hounded for her opinions and the actor had been completely vindicated. Now, Elna has come to the defense of a longtime co-star, Johnny Depp, and of Harry Potter creator, J.K. Rowling, in a new interview. Speaking to the Sunday Times, Bonham Carter said she felt that Johnny had been completely vindicated after his victory in a defamation case against ex-wife A.H. this summer. I think he's fine now, said Bonham Carter. Totally fine. Johnny Depp and Bonham Carter have worked together in films such as Corpse Bride, Charlie the Chocolate Factory, Sweeney Todd, Alice in Wonderland, and Dark Shadows. Johnny is also the godfather to Bonham Carter's two children with her former partner, Tim Burton. As to whether she felt the decision of the Virginia jury to award Depp 15 mil in the suit was a sign of the Me Too pendulum swinging back, Bonham Carter said, My view is that A.H. got on that pendulum. That's the problem with these things. People will jump on the bandwagon because it's the trend and to be the poster girl for it. Which, to be honest with you, when you look at it, it's kind of true. Because she never came out and helped anyone when all this was going forward. You know, 2016, 2017, when all the allegations were coming out. Obviously, you had uh, Rose McGowan. You had Asia Argento, who we are going to talk about in a moment. Because... Helena says something which is actually really good and you had all these people Alyssa Milano as well you know Alyssa Milano came out and she was oh we support the victim but then when a victim uh, came out and said her piece against someone that Alyssa Milano supported Alyssa Milano called her a lawyer so that's not exactly how this is meant to go was it you know she, yeah, I thought she's there for everyone not just people that she can pick and choose but as we go on in the article, it does state, during the trial, Depp was this. You know, this again, this is all about the, uh, the case, the UK case. A high court judge ruled the paper's allegations were substantially true because you had the judge, the judge's son, then Rupert Murdoch, the man Johnny Depp was suing. It kind of throws a wrench in the works, that does, you know? Anyway... This is what Bonham Carter has said. So she has also expressed skepticism about whether someone's personal life, if legal and consenting, should affect their professional prospects. Do you ban a genius for their practices? There would be millions of people who, if you looked closely enough at their personal life, you would disqualify them. You can't ban people. I hate cancel culture. It has become quite hysterical and there's a kind of witch hunt and a lack of understanding. Now, with that there, millions of people who, if you looked closely enough at their personal life, you would disqualify them. Now, as I mentioned, Asia Argento's name. Obviously, Asia Argento is, uh, she was one of the big people who came out and accused uh, Harvey. And again, Harvey's in jail, good. You know, that's where he deserves to be. He deserves to rot in prison. All those type of people do. But when you come out and you say all this kind of stuff, and then you get accused yourself, and you try and hide it, this is exactly what Helena Bonham Carter is saying. 
Literally, you could look at anyone, you know, anyone famous. They're all going to have some kind of uh, skeleton in the closet, no matter what. It's like all these people on Twitter as well. The ones who are saying, oh, we do this. Oh, how dare you speak to someone like that? And it's all, it's, you know, to me, it's like, so you're telling me you've never screamed and shouted at someone. You've never said a horrible thing to someone in your entire life. Every single person has said something horrible to someone at one point in their life, you know? But this one by here obviously is regarding uh, Asia Argento, where Jimmy Bennett speaks out after Asia Argento denies the accusations. So, as you can see, this is uh, Jimmy Bennett, he, uh, who claimed he was this by Asia Argento when he was 17 and she was 37. Said his trauma resurfaced after Argento accused Harvey of this. So... Jimmy Bennett, the 22-year-old actor who accused Asia Argento of this in 2013, has released a statement to The Hollywood Reporter after Asia Argento denied the allegations on Tuesday. So, I did not initially speak out about my story because I chose to handle it in private with the person who wronged me, said Bennett, who claims the alleged incident took place at a Southern California hotel in 2013 when he was 17, underage in the state, and Argento was 37. Her trauma resurfaced as she came out as a victim herself. I have not made a public statement in the past days and hours because I was ashamed and afraid to be part of the public narrative. Obviously, that was a whole Me Too thing. Then you had uh, Asia Argento, who accused Harvey of doing everything to her at the Cannes Hotel in 97. Going public with the allegations, she quickly became a leading voice in the Me Too movement. But earlier this week in the New York Times, it was reported that Argento had arranged to pay $380,000 to her own accuser, who appeared as Argento's son in her 2004 film. Now, 2013, he was 17. 2004, nine years earlier, he was eight. That's a little bit, uh, you know, it's a little bit like, uh you've watched that child grow up you know that's the uh the g word right by there so but it does go on you see you know, obviously people know this story but we're going to go through because this has got a lot to do with what helena bonham carter has said regarding this part if you look closely enough at their personal life you would disqualify them and obviously people automatically uh, someone's been told this about johnny depp oh that's it you know these people you know who support her Again, they probably support Asia Argento. And, you know, she went on to claim to a late partner that insisted the matter be handled uh, privately and all this kind of stuff. But then it gets even uh, even more strange. So this was, again, two, this was four years ago. TMZ released photos and text messages between Argento and a friend that appeared to contradict her claims that their relationship was not of this nature. In one image, the pair can be seen lying in the bed together with no tops on. In the text messages, Argento writes, I had this with him. It felt weird. I didn't know he was a minor. Yeah. So another text obtained, you know, obviously the notes intended to sue by Bennett's lawyers to Argento in November. In another text obtained by the site, Argento went, the public knows nothing, only what the New York Times wrote, which is one-sided. The shakedown letter the H uh, kid jumped me. Ah, see? That's when it goes now saying that, oh, he did this to me. She's trying to swap it around now, trying to be like, oh my God, look at this. But that's what we had by there. And that is exactly what Helen the Bottom Carter is saying. Is literally people who are standing up for, oh, we're going to be the poster girl, or we're going to be this, I'm one of the leaders of the movement. But then you turn out to be a horrible person sort of thing, and you've, you've done exactly this to someone you know it's crazy but it does go on to say about you can't ban people i hate cancel culture quite hysterical yeah kind of a witch hunt and a lack of understanding 1000 percent true helena is right she also came to the defense of jk rowling author of the harry potter books and whose film adaptation she played bellatrix for strange rowling has been accused of this after statements around gender politics and the protection of children and vulnerable women it's horrendous a load of bollocks said Bonham Carter. I think she has been hounded. As you can see, it does go on to say about, uh, obviously, the key stars. 
and what has been going on. But yeah, it's nice to see that uh, friends of the actor and everything else, they are sticking up for their friends, which is always great to see. Now, people will be like, well, he's the godfather to her children. She has to be nice. No, she doesn't. Just because they're part of the family or whatever doesn't mean you have to be nice to them, you know? But that's what we got. And it's just nice to see that uh, Helen the Bonham Carter is still, is still sticking up for Johnny. And obviously, he has been vindicated at this moment in time. Again, the appeal uh, has come in from her side. And it's just... I'm just putting out shorts regarding it because it's just such a tedious document where... It's almost like these lawyers didn't even watch the trial, you know? But if you are new to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I will see each and every one of you soon.